Welcome to Roslyn Biocenter, Scotland's leading bioincubator and home to an impressive array of world-leading research and development companies and a range of life science-related organisations. Within these beautiful grounds in the heart of Midlothian lies the birthplace of Dolly the Cloned Sheep, the Roslyn Institute, which now has a new home nearby, a £60 million state-of-the-art building on the University of Edinburgh's Easter Bush campus. As Scotland's most successful bioincubator, Roslyn Biocentre is perfectly placed to offer emerging life science firms all the help and advice they need to prosper and flourish. Marketing Manager Jane Kennedy. We offer a wide range of serviced office and lab accommodation. So companies can move in and they're good to go right from the first day. They can just set up and start work. We also, for lab tenants, provide a wide range of shared lab facilities. So we've got wash-up facilities, autoclaves, drying ovens, dry and ice machine, uh, deionized water, everything that they might need. We offer a range of networking organisations located directly on site. So we're able to put new life science companies right into the heart of the life sciences community right from the word go. The main advantage with that is that we're quite flexible in terms of the sorts of lease that we offer to tenants. Um, we allow them to grow in line with their own growing business needs um, and so they can budget much more efficiently, which for a new company is really important. Among the companies here is Solid Form Solutions, a contract research organisation which was formed three years ago by three family members. It now has nearly 20 staff and has won a Nexus Award for the most promising life science company. Its technical team is headed by Dr Stephen Watt. Roslyn Biocentre itself provides all the, the basic facilities, um, such as waste handling, um, you know, uh, uh, data handling, uh, other, other stuff that maybe you don't think about when you're running, uh, starting up a business. The access to the, um, uh, the, the, the scientific base here was useful as well, um, in particular for, for getting access to some instruments that were useful to us um, from that. But mainly is, is really Roslyn were very flexible. Um, they're very good support services and it did offer us a way in. Currently we're a CRO that offers chemical development services to the, the farmer industry. Uh, we also operate currently in Europe and the US, which are the two biggest markets for pharma. However, we do see ourselves expanding more into to Asia, Japan uh, and South America. And also with that comes the expansion of um, uh, people numbers as well, space uh, and you know, uh, possibly new facilities. Another well-known firm at Roslyn is Big DNA, which started life as a spin-out from the Morden Research Institute. The vaccine development company is now a rising star in the life science sector. Two years ago, it too won a Nexus Most Promising Life Science Company Award. Last year, it was named Best New Life Sciences Firm by Scottish Enterprise, and its founder and CEO, Dr John Marsh, scooped a Glenfiddich Spirit of Scotland Award. Yeah, last year was a, was a great year, but this year has been every bit as exciting. I mean, I think one of the characteristics of being in a biotech company, a, you know, an early stage biotech company, is that there's constant change, and, and it's a fantastic location, really, because it's the scenery is great, and I mean, I know that shouldn't have any impact on one's decision about where the company is located, but I think it gives a really nice working environment for people. The mix of tenants is, is ideal because obviously you can meet companies in a similar situation as yourself um, with the same problems and the same opportunities that, that we have. And also, you know, consultants and companies who can actually help you from the um, commercial perspective is, is great. I find it a fantastic mix. I think it's a really great location and, you know, we don't really have any intention of moving unless, you know, we had to because we got too big. Companies like these, based here at the Wallace Building or the Logan Building, generated over £11 million in the last financial year, almost a tenth of the total for all the science parks in the area covered by the Edinburgh Science Triangle. And Jane says the signs are good for the future. The future's looking really bright. Um, we've got a, a large number of growing organisations. Um, a couple of our companies have been winners of the Nexus Most Promising Life Sciences Award, which is always a great accolade. And most of our tenants are expanding and taking on new staff.